All right. So today is February 2nd, 2022. Oh my gosh. I just looked at my agenda and it says 21, 2022. And um, it's been a while. I feel like I'm out of practice three weeks since I've actually done a, a meeting. So I'm a little bit nervous, which is weird for me, but I wanted to say happy birthday again to Rana. Today is her birthday. So happy birthday, Rana. And while we're at it, let's talk about all the birthdays for February. So James Penn's birthday is February 7th. Gay's birthday is the 11th. Um, Shannon Hollingsworth's birthday is the 12th. My birthday is the 15th. And Zeno is the 27th. So we got a lot of February birthdays. I always Thanks, say this Shannon. every year. You're welcome. Every year I say that I always hire people that are like around my birthday. I think I attract them somehow. So although I've only hired a couple of these people, they, they came with Tarbell. So anyway, happy birthdays to the February birthdays. So tell me something good, you guys, what's happened good in the last few weeks? Oh, I got something. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's hear. <laughs> okay. Well, it's still a potential um, but I got a referral call from Berkshire Hathaway in Sacramento yesterday, and the property is located in Moreno Valley, and it would be for, and so um, we just have to wait because it's a um, parental death situation, and the son lives in Dallas, Texas, so we don't know all the ins and outs yet, but um, the I made, you know, good inroads with the agent. And it's just nice to know to have those connections from up there. And they thought of me first. Yeah. You know what? That's fantastic. You know, for those of you who don't know that Cecily came from Berkshire Hathaway up in Sacramento area, but I have to say that since we became part of home services um, and, you know, once they bought out Mark's group that we've been getting a lot more referrals coming our way now. And so I'm really pleased with that. What other good news? I've got um, two potential listings lots next to me um, out here in the um, Warner Springs area. I had sent out some letters and it just happened that two different letters, um, our brother-in-law and um, family members that own the adjacent lots next to each other and they both want a list. So I'm just waiting for them to sign their listing agreements. There are small lots, one's two and um, a little over two and a half acres. The other one's 1.96 acres, so almost two. And if they, um, they're willing to sell them together. And uh, so I'm hoping to get those listed and double signs in my neighborhood and start a new year. So Donna, I, I know you've been sending out letters. Was this a particular, like I have a buyer or was it just, hey, the inventory is low if you're thinking about it? What did it say? It just said, hi, I'm, um, my name is Donna. I'm a, a realtor. I live in the area. Um, if you're thinking now to sell your property or in the near future, I'd like you to consider me. And I gave them a little um, refrigerator magnet thing and a couple of business cards and told them that they could refer me to their friends as well. And so it wasn't like a real pushy one. It's more of an introduction if you're thinking now or in the future. And I got that call a week after I sent them out. Awesome. And how many did you send out? I, I, know, week, you, I, I know the story, but everybody else doesn't. So I just uh -huh. wanted you to know. That, that week I sent out five. And then the following week I sent out five more to other lots. So I'm just going through and handpicking lots in the area for people that maybe I haven't reached out to and um, just to see if they're interested and get my name out there. A lot of the people out in this area know me, so uh, I just want to keep in front of them. Awesome, congratulations, that's so good. Thank you. I love it. What else, any other good news? My hoarder's house is almost ready to show. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna do an open house? Fingers crossed. Well, I went up Saturday because he told me it was gonna be, it was ready. And ready means step over this box and on this table and climb. I mean, it's like the show. It's so he is cleaning out this week. And I've, I, I have like six offers. 
I put it on hold because it's clearly not ready for anybody to see. But um, hopefully this weekend. Did you talk to, I? since I know the backstory, did you talk to the bank on that one? Uh, yes, they're going out till April 6th. So Good. we've got a little bit more time. Awesome. But shocking. I'll tell you, it's crazy. I mean, the, the uh, there's not much up there and I've got offers willing to take it as is and it's it's just crazy i i think the shocking thing is that somebody that has a lot of equity just didn't make the payments and they're like in for in pre-foreclosure that's the the crazy thing there's probably more people out there like that yeah he lost his job um okay, so he was talking to me about kind of renegotiating it and you know getting some sort of terms where he could keep the house. And the problem is, even if we did that, he can't make the payments. Um, but he's ready for a fresh start, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, now's the time. And I, I what a better opportunity to market the heck out of the neighborhood too, once you get it sold and it will go quickly and it will go for higher than probably the neighbors would be surprised at. So that's good. Anybody else? Ron and I, I oh, sorry, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I hear an echo on it. Okay, Veronica and I uh, closed escrow this week on on our listing. I mean, on a with a buyer, and then our wine country goes live tomorrow. So, yeah, and we did such a good job of getting the brochure and everything together that they raised the price on us. So, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, they saw every all the material that was going out and the photos and everything, and then they decided, you know what, we yeah, so. Anyway, it goes live tomorrow. They didn't want any marketing or anything. They wanted it to all pop at one time. So here we go. All right. I Darn it. I wanted to see it as coming soon just be, to get a brief glimpse of it beforehand. Right. We tried to do that with them, but they didn't want to do it because um, the photographer had, was coming out at a certain time and they didn't want just one picture up. They, you know, they were very particular about how we did this. So, yeah, but it'll, it'll come out tomorrow. All right. And okay. I have Rana out there too. Uh, yes, it's me, Kelly. Kelly. Hi. Good morning. Happy birthday, Rana. Um, okay. So Rana and I have a new listing in um, Winchester. It is a former model home. It's 3,404 square feet, five bedroom, three bath with an office and a den. And um, the taxes are 1.7%. HOA is $59 a month. We are listing it at $899. Um, it, there is solar on the home. It's a PPA. And let me see. Do, 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 do. Uh, this, pardon me? It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I mean, the picture pictures are beautiful, but when you step inside the house, there is nothing you would want to do to it. And the backyard is absolutely amazing. It's really private. Um, the whole backyard is lined with um, like 15 foot ficus. Uh, there, the seller said there's about a hundred of them. And um, the outdoor kitchen is uh, 30 by 30 feet. The sitting area at the kitchen, it seats 10. All the appliances outside are commercial grade. Um, the pool has bubblers. Also, as you can see, the streams of water that go from the deck into the pool. There's a grotto. There are two fire pit. Actually, there's two fire pits. Um, and then there's one, there's a third one up on top of the grotto. You can see the little flame up there. Yes. And so the seller is, um, she's a very good designer. She designed the whole backyard and with the fire pit over near the jacuzzi, it was very specific where she placed it. She said she doesn't like getting out of the spa and being cold. And so she placed the, that fire pit right next to the spa so that when they get out, they're warm by the fire pit. Um, and then also they would like to sell the home completely furnished. They purchased it that way from Lennar. Um, she said the only way they 
would have purchased the house as she, they said to Lenar, we want to purchase it with everything in it. And so they would love to sell the home that way for an additional 22,000. That's with all the TVs, all the furniture, basically everything you see. Now I have to go back and look at all the furniture. Yeah, I know <laughs> Ronna and I are like, okay, well, if nobody wants to buy it furnished, we're picking out our pieces. Well, we want this, this. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It just looks so good. And are you guys going to do an open house or not? No, um, they're, they're pretty particular. Um, they're very private. So they do not want to do open houses to the public. Um, we, they would like us to be there at all showings. So everything is just basically a scheduled showing, which, um, either Rana or myself will be there. And, um, I was gonna, oh, there's no sign on the property. So, but look at how pretty that wall is. There's that um, custom stone wall in the master bedroom and then also in the loft, uh, not the loft, I'm sorry, the office downstairs. Mm -hmm. So the entire house has been um, professionally designed by an interior designer. So, so no, no stone has been left unturned. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, speaking of stones, like that wall, let me go back to it. We saw that in like the seventies. And, and to be honest, I, it reminds me of my grandparents' house, but oh. when I see it here. I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. Like I would have never thought to put it in a bedroom. It's so yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. This is, um, these are people in our farm and we've been talking to them probably for over two years now, and they're finally ready to sell and they're going to go back to um, Palm Springs area. Nice. Well, it's good that you guys have been consistently farming even through COVID. So it's yes. Nice. Yes. So if anyone has any buyers, <laughs> what's up? That it's funny how that farming works. I know it is, isn't it? And that's one thing that they have said to us is, We've always been so consistent and um, which is one of the reasons why they chose us. That's great because you just, yeah, you're, you're constantly out there. It, it's a new year and people, agents are going to farm right now and come a uh, second quarter, they'll fizzle out. So just being yeah. consistent is where it's at. And I know Donna has been very consistent with her farming, um, you know, direct mail marketing because she's doing um, land and through the BAC with the emails too. So whichever way you can get in front of people, I'm so proud of you guys for um, getting this and they actually acknowledging that because you were so consistent. That's Thank you. Feedback. good feedback. Thank you very much. Anybody else have good news they wanna share? Or um, I've got two listings. I just kind of want to market update you guys. One in um, the French Valley that uh, we put it on the market um, for showing Saturday and we have nine offers already um, all well over asking and then a little house in Corona um, that also has nine offers over the, uh, the weekend and still coming in and people still wanting to show. So market's still really good out there. And then I've got a new one coming up. It's behind um, Chaparral High on Oak Cliff. Um, it's uh, I think about 1,800 square feet or something. It does need some love, but it's going to be priced right under 500,000. So if you have anybody looking for a fixer, um, I think it's got good bones. It just needs, um, you know, paint and flooring and some backyard cleanup and that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's going to be a good one. Nice. Anybody else? Good news or new listings or buyers wants and needs since we're jumped into the listings. I have a uh, buyers. Um, they're looking for a single story pool home, um, Temecula, Murrieta, maybe Winchester. Uh, they're doing a 1031 exchange. They've sold the house, their house in San Diego. And we're just looking for the right one priced um, below 850. So if anybody's got something coming up, let me know, please. Awesome. All right, so normally this time I would talk about the top five. I know I haven't talked about the end of the year top five and I'm not going to because 
the company doesn't um, doesn't do their last end of year stuff until we go to the awards banquet next month on the first. So you guys will have to wait and see how everything pans out for that last month. But I am going to talk about some market stats and how the market ended up for um, the end of the year and how the office ended up. So let's first talk about um, the local market stats. So um, new listings in the last seven days in our Temecula um, market, 146 new listings. We have 240 currently um, that went to pending in the last seven days, 180 sold. We have a total of 410 active listings in the Temecula Valley, our six um, locations that we track. And in Temecula only, we still only have 82 listings. And the most affordable is $525,000 in Temecula. So um, that's very telling. That jumps up and down. But for the most part, we're in the fives now. There's, no, there's nothing below that unless you're in a condo. Riverside County, um, we have a total of 1,863 listings. This is the um, first year ever that, this is the lowest inventory that we have started the year with in all of um, recording as far as um, keeping track of what we have on the market. So um, low inventory is probably gonna continue through this year and- um, Yep. And, and you know why that's notable too, just a reminder, because Riverside County is the fourth largest county in the state of California. Yep. So it's amazing that it's that low. Yeah, when you think about how large our county is, and if you were to spread 1,800 listings out, it's like nothing. I mean, just look at Temecula, 82 listings. And I mean, we go all the way out to Blythe and, and the desert, and that's nothing. Orange County has less than 1,100 that they started the year with. So it's very low. Um, even with that, with the low inventory, we had 52 price changes in the last seven days, both up and down. It, I looked to be about 50-50 this week. So that's kind of interesting. Well, let me share my screen because I want to talk about the end of the year for the state. We're going to see a board, but it's not ours, so don't worry. That's like also not. <laughs> All right, so the end of December, um, as far as the uh, numbers are concerned, um, in December 2021, we sold in Southwest Riverside County 1,145. The previous month, we sold 1,048. And um, the previous year, 1,241. So month over month change in December, was 9% increase, but year over year was an 8% decrease. Um, so that's interesting. And then um, as far as median home prices in, this is the Southwest Riverside County only, um, it went up only 3% month over month, which is actually pretty good considering, you know, not a lot of homes were sold, but 22% year over year change. So that's the number to keep in mind when people say, how is the market? Well, last year, we, you know, in this area, we grew 22%. Um, everybody has 22% more equity now. We expect that equity is going to continue to grow, but probably not at 22%. And I believe in the state, the numbers are even higher, like 30%. So um, let's take that down to how did our company do overall last year? Last year, our company was up 11% in unit sales for the, the year. In gross commission income, we were up 29%. And in our office, let's talk about getting more down, down and dirty, 35% of our agents had a positive year over year growth. So that's fantastic. The office itself, gross commission income was down 4%, shocking. And we were only off to we were down in units by nine. So what that tells me is if I'm comparing us to our market, we beat our market area, Southwest Riverside County, because we're only down 4% uh, or nine units, it's almost nothing. But if I could just get everybody to commit to doing one more deal this year than we did last year, that you personally did last year, we won't have 
a negative on growth. And I think we can do it. We're coming out of COVID. Everybody has either had it or has avoided it. And we should be able to get back to business, back to doing open houses, et cetera. So anybody have any comments on that? Who wants to say their commitment right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did this. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited about the um, about the um, breakfast coming up with um, our awards breakfast coming up because we'll have lots of fun things to share and everybody's going to be celebrating their successes. So um, I'll remind you over and over again, don't forget to RSVP for that. But let's just bask in the fact that our company as a whole, we've, we've done fantastic this year uh, or last year and we are going to do fantastic this, and this year. So Shauna wants to share um, some updates on compliance and sales reports. So I'm going to share my screen again, and then I'm going to shut up so that she can talk and we won't have an echo, hopefully. up the sales report um, and re all the fields should be correct now for you just to type in a number and it'll come up as a percent if it's in a percentage field or a dollar amount if it's in a uh, dollar field and you know the date and everything it should line up perfectly hopefully I've had to correct it a few times um, but I highlighted in the soft yellow just the information that you need to put down on the sales report. Uh, so there's no need to be putting down the buyer's address and zip code and telephone number and email. And all I need is the uh, broker on the other side, their, their brokerage name, and of course the agent name, which is next to it. Um, <clears throat> and then we always need to know the mortgage company, the title company, home warranty, we just keep records of you know who's doing what um, and information. And then below, you guys know that this is the most important part. Um, so whether you're on the listing side or the selling side, um, you have your <clears throat> base commission which is whatever it is, 2.5 times the selling, selling price or, you know, three, whatever. Um, if it is a referral, this part gets confusing. Um, if it's an outside referral, you would put the broker's name there in, the, in that field that's right? And you would also put the referral information below. And the most important part with a referral is that you have um, a, an agreement, of course, and a W-9. The only time a W-9 isn't needed is when it is an in-house referral. Like someone in our office, or I'm gonna let Shannon explain what referral would be considered as. You want me to say that? There's whenever um, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, just like um, a, a dual agency, first of all and foremost, dual agency can be within our branch and it can be outside of our branch, but still within our company. But remember, we are our company is comprised of different corporations. So we are AC Palm Desert. And there is also an AC 2015 area, which is Orange County. The way you know that you are a, a dual agent within our company is if the DRE number for the branch matches the DRE number of the other agent. So 02043759. If the agent put that on their broker line, then we're a dual agent. Um, so AC 2015, Orange County, does not have that broker number. 
And so even though Forrest is the overall broker for both corporations, they don't match. So we are not a dual agent. Is that what you want me to say? Yes, thank you. Anything um, else? Um, that line that says whatever the uh, GRE number is of the brokerage, um, if they match, then it's considered dual agency. If not, it's not, even despite they're both, you know, Berkshire Hathaway companies. Um, and then for in-house referral, okay, so if you're a team, you know, you most of you know how to do this correctly. Um, but just an overview is, you know, if you're the listing agent, you're going to have just line one, L, L1. Um, your split, if you are a single agent or independent agent without a partner or a team partner, um, is always going to be 100%. Um, the split is back office, we, we know. If you're a team, it's going to be, depending on your team relationship, most of the time it's 50-50. Um, so it would be, um, again, depending on whether it's a listing or a, a, a sale, it's going to be, you're going to fill out line one and two, whichever side you're on, um, and it'll be 50-50. If it's a referral, an in-office referral, in our office uh, that said, hey, I don't have time for this, have it. Um, they're gonna obviously fill out a uh, referral agreement with you and you're gonna put them as the third agent or the second agent, again, depending on whether you're a team or not. Um, and they will get 25, 30 is standard. That would be their split and your split would be 70% or 75. Um, again, that's all between you and your referral agent. If it is an in-house referral um, from an agent within our office, all you have to do is put in the notes too is referring agent is, you know, and a vendor and she gets 25%. I think the only other thing to mention here is um, an outside broker referral um, comes before everything. So before your admin fee, and before your splits and things like that. So um, if you guys need a refresher, I, I will email out this updated sales report. Keep it in your computer. If you get it off the VAC, it's going to be the old screwed up one that Shauna didn't fix. So um, keep this like on your desktop or whatever. Any questions on that? Do you guys have one where there are sample numbers in there? Just yeah, we can send you one. Okay, a sample? Yeah, we'll just take out names and stuff and put some stuff in there. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Okay, so Shana? you guys saw oh, some Shana, um, can I ask emails one question? this week. Oh. Am I getting, are you guys hearing That's me, just yes, me? that was me interrupting. Yeah. I wanted to ask Shauna a question real quick on that. Okay. Shana, it in the um, in VAC, is the sample in VAC going to be corrected like this, or is it because in VAC they do have a sample and it has all the numbers in there? No, we we can't add to VAC. Only okay. we can add to VAC. So we'll okay. do a sample and yeah, okay. um, we'll send out this corrected one, and you just okay. keep them side by side in your computer. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so uh, let me do a, a new share here. You've, you've seen the emails this week going out regarding our new mortgage company, Prosperity Mortgage. I want to share a video update, which we will be doing on a weekly basis now, just to give you an update of what's the market like, um, interest rates and things like that. And so today's afternoon meeting is kind of a kickoff of Prosperity Home Mortgage. They are our family. They are owned by Home Services of America. So this company will be with us forever. They will never change. I know as Tartbell agents, we've had different uh, mortgage companies throughout the years, but this is who we are now. 
And so um, this is a video from Tyler Johnson. So hold on, let's see. Hey everyone, I'm Tyler Johnson with Prosperity Wait, Home Mortgage. On. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I don't think you guys, whoops, I didn't think you guys could hear him. We could. Yeah, we can hear him. <laughs> of course. Okay. It is so great to meet you. Even though we're not meeting in person yet, I look forward to when that day comes. And on behalf of the entire Prosperity Home Mortgage family, we're so excited to be partnering with you going forward. Remember, we are also a Home Services America company and a Berkshire Hathaway affiliate, which means we're family and no one's more invested in your success than family. We're also unapologetically focused on purchase business because that's what drives your business. What you can expect to see in the coming weeks are a few different webinars, lunch and learns, opportunities for you to better understand who we are as an organization, how we've designed our processes to benefit you and your customer better than any other lender out there, and then on a weekly basis, a short video from me on what's happening in the market and a spotlight on one area of our business that's going to help you grow your business. So let's start with the market. What's happening in the market? Well, interest rates are rising. What's driving the interest rates? What can you communicate to your customers in terms of what to expect? Let's make it really easy and understand that interest rates are going to follow our economy. As the economy, economy excuse me, continues to improve, interest rates are going to rise. If the economy stays stagnant or all of a sudden we've got a poor economic outlook, maybe there's a new variant uh, strain that comes out. Maybe there is uh, other lockdowns. That's the only time we're going to see interest rates stay flat. The sound went out. No. Ask one of your loan officers about that. No, dude. Also got the best pre-approval in the business because we'll fully credit underwrite a customer before they find a property address. If you need us to be available on pre-approval, we can move as quickly as the customers are willing to. Uh, but all of those things, I'll let the loan officers talk to you about in person. But today, I want to focus and highlight our collateral process, our appraisal process. We do things differently because we don't rely on appraisal management companies, a third party middleman to represent us. All that does is take 15 to 20% of the appraisal fee off the top to serve as an admin and find an appraiser that doesn't know your market, doesn't know the neighborhood nuance, that's driving from two hours away to complete an appraisal that isn't the highest level of quality that you need with extended turn times. We go directly to the appraisers. We have our own appraisal panels of the highest quality appraisers in the market because we pay full fees. And like I mentioned, we cut out the middleman. Our loan officers are gonna be reaching out to you for one-on-ones to tell you more about that process. Ask for some of your feedback. And if you meet with them for a one-on-one, -on -one, there's a special surprise that I'll let them tell you at the end. We are so excited about 2022 and we are so excited about helping you grow your business, representing you, representing your customers. And if there's anything we can do, please let us know. Otherwise, have a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and we'll talk to you soon. There, I'm excited <laughs> to finally have a lender back in the office. You know, we, we had a lender previously with Tarbell that ended up retiring, and we haven't had one in the office since. So I'm excited to have our new Prosperity Mortgage with us. Um, they will have a space in every single office in um, Berkshire Hathaway. So once we get notified of who our rep is, they'll be um, in the office. They'll be reaching out to you to make some um, connections with you guys. So hopefully you'll give them a chance. They want to earn your business, of course. So let's um, see what we can do with them. All right. I have a super duper fun marketing thing to share with you today. And you've probably already found out if you've been in the VAC recently, a new button that's called agent icon on there. But I want to share with you first, let's see. I want to share with you first what it's all about um, by watching this, another video. I'm really sorry. So. 
Hi, Hi. I'm Kelly with Agent Icon. Want to see a magic trick? Text a photo to us. Text a photo to the phone number listed below and almost instantly below. It works like magic with no apps or software to install. Just save the phone number as a contact in your phone. It's like having a social media assistant available to you all the time. You can also email your photo to the email address listed below. We will also be sending you social media content every morning, Monday through Friday. It's packed with all the content you'll need to have a great social media presence. It has an image of the day, news articles, good news articles, and marketing and technology tips. It also links you to the world's largest library of social media content with thousands of branded images and videos. It has still images in both standard and Instagram story size. It also has video images in both sizes. You can also filter the images for buyer, seller, or motivational images. In addition, view an archive of all the articles we've sent you. You'll always have all the social media content you'll need to have an outstanding social media presence. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and thank you for using Agent Icon. Hi, I'm Kelly. Okay, so um, this is officially gonna be rolled out on February 6th, where you will start getting the emails um, every day with something social that you can share. You can go into Agent Icon right now, I believe. I, I clicked on it today and check it out on your VAC. But you know how she said, send me a picture and I'll show, I'll share with you. I took a picture this morning of my office and I want to show you what happened. It, it was, it was literally five seconds that a link came back to me. So let me just see. Oops. I got to take my background off so that you can see. Um, can't take my background off. Okay. Okay, so I sent a message to them today and they sent me a link within two seconds. And the link has a library of images with already coming soon or just listed or just sold. And all I have to do is download and stick it on social media any way I want to. What do you guys think about that? That's great. So easy because it's on your phone. So if you just walked out of a house and took a listing contract that day, you could snap a photo real quick and be like, coming soon, you know, that day if you wanted to. The other thing um, is if you have your own personalized logo, send it to me now. I'll have it loaded just for you so that your logos show up on your image gallery um, along with the Berkshire Hathaway. So we want your brand to be showing on these templates. It's super fun. We're going to be using it um, during our awards event too. So they, we're going to have some templates for those award winners out there. But um, keep an eye out. You'll get, I'm sorry, you're going to get an email every single day. Monday through Friday with something to share on social media. And I know the question has already been asked of our management team, like how many are we all gonna get the same social media? Well, you can see from that video, there was a lot of images to share. So you're gonna be able to pick. There is 3000 agents in our company. There's probably gonna be a little bit of overlap. There's nothing we can do about that, but we don't have the same friends except for our realtor friends you know so don't worry about that just get something out on social media this cannot be easier for um, some of you people you people some of you who are not confident on social media this is the fastest way to get something out there with your stuff on there i'm super excited about it so i just wanted to flip through um, these slides and just show you like this is the daily email and you'll have one or you'll have a couple of other things to choose from. You just download them. Um, if you're on your computer, you can download them to your computer. Or if you're on your phone looking at it, download it to your phone and then send it. And then the listing templates will um, come in lots of different options. So you guys check it out. Um, 
If you did not see the phone number, I'm going to put that screen back up so you can put that phone number in your phone right now. Save that number as agent icon so that when you want to see how it works, you could just send a photo to that email and you'll get a link right back. What do you think? It, right. it was super easy. I just tried it with my headshot. And it was just super easy to see how quick it came back. Yeah, it's very cool, right? You said to send you our logos, right? Yeah, send me your logos. I'll send them to marketing who will get it to agent icon. And then that way it will be included, I believe, in your templates there. Cool. Yep. All right. So last but not least, I just want to remind everybody. Um, Wait, today so Shannon, yeah. Shannon, couldn't we just text our logo to that number? Or would um, that not work? No, because the, the picture is what you're supposed to be texting. The logo is automatic. Like they're going to have all the different logos on there. So we need to backload it like when this cell phone number sends it to you, then this logo is what shows up. So send me all your logos. Okay, got it. And then I'll send them off to marketing. And um, because we're doing the whole company on the 6th, we'll have to, you know, I want to get it done ahead of time. All right. And then um, so this today at noon is the kickoff prosperity kickoff webinar, and they're going to be going into a lot of detail about their programs and things like that. If you do want to watch it in the office, feel free to come in. I'll have it running on the TV. They are sending a pizza over because they wanted us to have a big party. <laughs> but um, it's up to you. You can watch it from your, your home office if you want to. Um, upcoming meetings. Our next regional meeting, which is, I wanna just announce this now so that you guys put it on your calendar. Um, our legal counsel, Darren Welsh, will be at our February regional meeting and he'll be on Zoom, of course, um, because it's, we don't wanna make him travel to Temecula Valley for us, but he's gonna be going over how to stay out of trouble this year legally. And um, he's always fun to listen to. I think he's a great speaker. The very next day is breakfast with the city managers at South Coast. Don't forget to RSVP for that. I checked how many spots they had left today and there's only 97 spaces available as of today. And I know they had like close to 400 when I RSVP. That's $25. You have to RSVP through um, SRCAR. And you can do that the same way that you pay your dues. Just log in to srcar.org and then it will be on the list of upcoming events. And then lastly, if you haven't what, seen- What date, Shannon? You just, February, what are they? Fourth, for the breakfast with the city managers. And then the legal guy is February what? 23rd. 23rd, okay. Yeah, and the breakfast with the city managers is gonna be at South Coast. It's kind of an all day thing. So um, plan until like, uh, the flyers out on my window, but I believe it starts at about around 8.30 for networking and maybe nine o'clock breakfast. And I think it doesn't end until like two or three in the afternoon. So uh, check it out. And then lastly, if you haven't seen the emails every single day to RSVP for the regional awards, that's gonna be at the Richard Nixon Library. Uh, I believe breakfast starts at nine. Um, you guys should probably caravan if you want to. I'm going to have to be there early because management has to present. So we have to go through our scripts. Um, just RSVP to Andrea Mendoza, or if it's easier for you, just let Shauna or myself know. But if you've already RSVP, don't tell us again. Just tell us if you've not RSVP. And then um, Super Bowl is coming up in two weeks. So we have our pool on the wall. $5 a square. There's only 42 squares left. So if anybody wants to jump on there, um, tell me or bring in your money or you can Venmo your, me your money and I'll put you on anywhere. And um, we just want to get those squares filled up. And um, hang on a sec, because I was going to do Joker jackpot, but let me check with Shauna because she just walked away. Hey, hey, Shannon. Shannon, when you were saying the breakfast with the city manager, I think it cut out, but it's the 24th. It sounded like you said the 4th. No, yeah, 24th, 24th. Shannon, I have a question also. I have an appointment at noon and I can't be on that webinar with Prosperity. Will he be recording it, do you know? 
I don't know, but okay. I can ask. And um, okay. it, you know, it is on Zoom. So if they're oh, able okay. to record it, I will ask them to now because I, I have access to um, Tyler's email and see if they can get that recorded for you guys. There's no other way if you miss it, but there's two um, webinars. One is today and we have another one in two weeks. They're not the same. I believe the one in two weeks is all about appraisals and things like that. So, yeah, I saw that. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold on. All right, sorry guys, we're gonna we're gonna uh, forego Joe for jackpot for today because we got uh, I've got someone I got to take care of right now at the front. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for showing up. Um, this is going this is being recorded, so I'll put it on YouTube if you want to rewatch. But I'll send out all the information, sales reports, and things like that to you um, in my follow up email. All right, so have a good afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.